Dr. Amarendra Mishra was the former head of statistics and dean of science in Patna University. More than 100 of national and international research papers are widely published in different journals across the world. His passion for teaching, dedication, commitment are highly appreciable among students. With serving 42 years in teaching and holding enormous roles in statistics, the name is enough for his introduction. Meyer. Today I will talk about the brief history of probability theory, which is the science of chance. How did it evolve? The probability theory is, in its own right, worth a careful study by all of us, as it enters in our lives in thousands of ways. The importance of probability theory in our lives can be judged from the fact that it deals with uncertainties which we come across quite often in our lives. It is a step towards the direction of measurement which has been one of the main objectives of science. Probability is a measure of chance. The history of probability can be treated, traced back to the 17th century when the first attack was made on the problem of chance It originated as a mathematical tool of gamblers. A group of gamblers, unable to answer their own questions about the fall of dice and other gambling problems, went to some of the leading scientists of those days. Among others, they approached a great Italian mathematician, Galileo. Galileo found these gambling problems worth careful studies. Not only did he solve them all, but went on to write a short treatise on the game of dice. Thus, science had begun its study of chance which continued to the present day and led to results that not even Galileo could have foreseen. It became a branch of science rather than gambling. Not many years later, history repeated itself, this time in France. Among the gamblers of the period, there was one, Savalier D. Mary, whose devotion to gambling was tempered by a scientific curiosity and insight which enabled him to formulate some of very interesting problems. He approached Pascal a friend of his with very perplexing questions. Pascal was a strange blend of mathematical geniuses. In his early days, mathematics reigned undisputed. His invention of the adding machine at the age of 18 is but one of the series of accomplishments that made him a reputed mathematician. Pascal solved many of the biggest problems and was able to distill from them the basic ideas of probability. 
with the name of Pascal, that of P format can also be associated in finding the new theories of probability. Fermat was a lawyer by profession and he never devoted himself wholly to mathematics. Still, his contributions in the field ranked him as one of the great men in this field. Pascal and Fermat correspondent with each other and gave rise to many basic laws of probability. Like many new branches of knowledge, the theory of probability also rose rapidly. After about half a century of the work of Pascal and Fermat, the first systematic treatise on probability came due to James Bernoulli, which was published posthumously by his nephew in Bernoulli. James Bernoulli was followed by a great name in the history of science, that of Laplace. Laplace lived through the stormy period of French Revolution and in addition to his scientific contributions, he served in various administrative capacities. He did extensive research spread over a number of years in probability theory and finally published a book on it. The next great name in the theory of probability is of the German mathematician Gauss. He was one of the first time mathematical geniuses that ever lived on this earth. In his admirable book, Men of Mathematics, E.T. Bell ranks Gauss with Archimedes and Newton as one of the three mathematicians of all time. Gauss evolved a famous law now known as Gauss law of errors. It is believed that a French mathematician A. D. Moiret who he spent 66 years of his life in England, was the first to evolve the law of errors. But it could not come in light as he didn't get it published. Had the gamblers kept their difficulties with themselves, and not brought it to the notice of the mathematicians of their period. The theory of probability perhaps would have not been developed as a well-organized member of the mathematical family. Thank you.